Greetings, we're here at the RDU International Airport in Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina. Uh, at this busy airport, you have to be concerned about wake turbulence. Now, don't get confused about jet blast versus wake turbulence. Wake turbulence, if you remember, is created when an aircraft is creating lift. Uh, I've been taxiing around and had somebody from ATC uh, tell me to taxi behind somebody and caution wake turbulence. Uh, no, that's jet blast. So wake turbulence takes place on takeoff uh, and landing by uh, aircraft that are heavy. Uh, and if they have a lot of the, say, forward slats and the flaps down in a high lift condition, uh, well, you have that wake turbulence. The low pressure, the high pressure under the wings seeking that low pressure on top and creating those wingtip vortices. And that could be really dangerous for small aircraft. So let's say we're at this airport and we're taking off behind a big jet. As they're rolling down the runway, they're not creating lift until that nose comes off the ground. So anything before that point, we're okay as far as taking off, but you have to be careful because jet, large jets can have a pretty steep climb angle. You can't beat that climb angle. Well, you might want to wait the recommended time, and that is usually around three minutes. Now, let's say you're in position and hold or lined up and wait is the uh, new expression, uh, and you're waiting for this jet to uh, depart, just like this one. All right, so the first scenario was the jet that was taking off, but the next scenario is a jet that's coming in for a landing. Let's say the uh, big jet is coming in for a landing, it's got the flaps down and is coming in at approach speed, it's creating lift at that point. What you want to do is wait for that nose wheel to touch the ground and that's when it stops creating lift and anything past that point is good for your takeoff. Now as far as your landing is concerned, if you're following somebody in that same situation, you want to aim for that point past the point of that touchdown to uh, make your landing and then uh, vice versa if you have somebody that's taking off, you're coming in for a landing, you want to touch down before their rotation point, before that nose gear gets off the ground, you want to have that landing made. 